before Babe Ruth, the game of baseball had a decidedly different look about it. Back then, a homer was a rarity. In fact, from 1911 through 1914, Frank Home Run Baker led the league each year, even though he never hit more than 12. With Ruth's arrival, that changed. Say we're going to win any pennants or anything like that, but we're going to try to do our best and let the other fellows know that we're in the league. Number three, Babe Ruth. Ruth broke in with the Red Sox in 1914 and became one of the game's great left-handed pitchers, but by the time Boston sold him to the Yankees in 1920, the Babe had already transformed himself into a new kind of ball player, a slugger. His 29 homers for the 1919 Red Sox were a major league record. His first year with the Yanks, he didn't just improve upon that mark, he took a quantum leap, a mind-boggling 54 and then 59 more in 1921. The Babe was a phenomenon, whether swatting them for the Yanks or barnstorming on his own, huge crowds paid good money to see him, and they were never disappointed. Even at the tail end of his career, over 40 and overweight, the Babe was still able to pack him in. Since Ruth's emergence as a national celebrity came right on the heels of the 1919 Black Sox scandal, some people say he literally saved the game. At the very least, he revolutionized it. Consider this. Until Ruth, there were no foul poles. You didn't need them. Nobody ever hit them that high. In Ruth's prime, the Yanks gave the rest of the American League the brush off, cruising to pennant after pennant. Of course, his teammates helped, especially Lou Gehrig, who usually followed Ruth in the lineup as the Bambino and the Iron Horse became the first of baseball's legendary power-hitting duos. Still, it was Ruth who usually stole the show. Eleven times he hit over 40 homers, including 1927, when of course he had 60, a mark which stood for 34 years. In time, many of Babe Ruth's records have been broken, but his legend remains. In a way, he was among the first of America's true celebrities, more famous than presidents, and as he liked to point out, better paid too. His love for children was well known, perhaps because he never grew up himself. As his career wound down with the Boston Braves, there was one last flash of the old magic. He hit three homers in a game against the Pirates, the last being the first to clear the roof at Forbes Field. A week later, he retired. In 1948, his body ravaged by cancer, Babe Ruth was given a day at Yankee Stadium. There's been so many lovely things said about me. And I'm glad that I've had the opportunity to thank everybody. Thank you. In the way, sir. More than a half century after his retirement, Babe Ruth remains a colossus in myth and achievement. 714 career home runs. The first homer in all-star history. The called shot against the Cubs in the World Series. As it was once said, we shall never see his like again. <laughs>